Hello everyone, this is Stephen Kelly from the Century College Center for Educational Technology. In this second of four videos on how to set up a gradebook in Desire to Learn, we will learn to configure the grade settings of our course gradebook. As we work our way through the grade settings, note that many of the options we encountered in the grade setup wizard are also present in the grade settings. The settings we choose in this tutorial are those that are recommended for most instructors at Century College. If you need assistance with any of your D2L grade settings, feel free to contact the campus D2L administrator. Let's get started. Here we are in the D2L environment on the Grades page. To access the Grades page, you click on the Grades option in the top nav bar. On the left hand side of the screen, we have the Grades area box. In the Grades area box, we have the option for Grade Settings. I will click Grade Settings. On the following page, we have three options, personal display options, organizational unit display options, and calculation options. Let's start with personal display options. We might also refer to this as the instructor's view of the gradebook. Under managing view display options, we have user details, and we may check off username, organizationally defined ID, or email. These are pieces of information that will be tacked on after the student's name in the gradebook. I will choose Organizationally Defined ID. That way, the student's tech ID will appear after their name in the gradebook. Under Grade Details, I have checked off Grade Scheme Symbol and Grade Scheme Color. I will also check off Points Grade because I want to see as much data as possible in my gradebook. Under Number of Characters to Display for Text Items, the default setting is 15. I will keep that at 15. Most instructors at Century College do not utilize the Text Items option. Under Number of Columns before User Details Repeat, the default setting is 5. I will keep that at 5. What that will mean is that for every six columns in the gradebook, the student's personal information will be repeated. Under Number of Users before Column Header Repeats, the default setting is 10. I will keep that at 10. Under Repeat Final Grades, we have two checkoff options, Repeat Calculated Final Grade at the start of the user list, and Repeat Adjusted Final Grade at the start of the user list. I'm going to check off both of these options. Under Start Page, we may choose our default grades area. Right now I have selected Enter Grades. We may also choose as a landing page Manage Grades, Grade Settings, Grade Schemes, or Set Up Wizards. I'm going to keep the setting at Enter Grades. Then I will click Save. Now we may look at the Organizational Unit Display options. We may also refer to this as the Student's View of the Gradebook. Note that those areas that are filled in on this page are the same that were filled in in the Grade Setup Wizard. There's no need for us to change any information here on this page, but do double check to make certain that you have checked off Display Final Grade Calculation to Users. And I will click Save. Under Calculation Options, much as organizational unit display options, you will notice that this is information that we filled in when we did the grade setup wizard. Provided these are the settings that you would like to stay with, there's no reason to adjust any of the options on this page. I will click Save. D2L will now prompt me for a confirmation. You are about to save changes. Are you sure you want to continue? I will select Yes. And this concludes our second video on how to set up the gradebook and desire to learn.